want to uh, focus in on one of the Reddit comments. Um, this came from Mel. And it says, we will be able to confirm platforms and answer questions about backwards compatibility. Because that was also a huge question people were then throwing out. Mm -hmm. uh, once we have worked out some of the outstanding licensing hurdles involved, I do promise to let you know if there are any tables not coming to the new platform. I know we do not, did not handle this well with FX2 to FX3 previously. That's pretty yeah. pretty big admission. Um, kind of yeah. an obvious admission. And yeah, because I did really get raked over the coals with that. There's a lot of... I mean, even today, there's ill will still floating around about that. Yeah. So, And I know, you know that some of that ill will is that people are like, well, I just transferred the game from my Xbox to the new Xbox, but... In order to do that, it was almost like you had to eliminate your information on the old Xbox. And then, so then when they right. went to go download it again on that, there is no way of downloading the South Park table and uh, the you know, Plants vs. Zombies or whatever, you know, some of those other tables that didn't, the, the football, uh, Super League football, um, yeah. they're no longer available there on the store. So now they're saying, hey, you know, I lost my product and there's no way for me to get it back. Um, so yeah, I think that there's where they're saying, Hey, look, we'll communicate what's going to be transferring over. What's not going to be transferring over. Um, you know, in case you need to get your purchases in now. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so, you know, I lost, I lost my entitlement to play the content. It's not again, like DLCs, you don't own it. <laughs> right. Um, but I do find it interesting that that phrasing here worked out uh, compatibility, backwards compatibility. Once we have worked out some of the outstanding licensing hurdles involved. We've that said must it. must mean that when like when they're talking to all the studios and partners that are like in the game, they go, so wh how, how are you going to let us use your properties that we've got in there at the moment? Like, will you let us have them on the previous platform as well as the new platform or do you want like a clean start or well, because like... here's something that happened with that transference from fx2 to fx3 uh. because it's new new platform licensing like new licensing contracts had to be issued and yeah. basically all the licensors the license holders are like sweet people are gonna have to buy the game again we get another bite of the apple yeah. Zen absorbed that cost. They paid off the licensors and right. said, no, we're going to let the people carry over. I don't know how much that's going to happen this time again. I mean, it might happen again. It might not. I don't, it, it's really hard to say. Obviously, Mel's not saying yet because they're, they're trying to work that out because some licensors might be cool with that. Others might be like, no. We want yeah, to we be want, paid well, again mean, for our product. And the best way to think about this is you have Star Wars on DVD. Now you want to buy the 4K, or now you want it in 4K. You don't just go to Target and be like, hey, so give me that, like, my 4K. Hey, here's my old DVD. Yeah. Like, can I have a new one now? No. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work, work like that. that. You want the upgrade? No. <laughs> you want that pay upgrade? Up. You got to pay. And. You know, the studios are like, yeah, we get another bite of the apple. It's it's the studio doing a double bite. Yeah, it's like they're not seeing it in the game industry. And like they're going, hang on a second. Uh, we're not sure we like that. Yeah, because I mean, they'd be uh, like, yeah. okay, great. So we had all these people buy our game five years ago when it came out. Why can't we have them buy it again? Um, yeah. So again, I don't know. That's I, I'm to, <laughs> What I'm saying here is probably what Zen is hearing from the licensors. Yeah, that this is the language that they'd be hearing. This is these are the conversations they'd probably be entertaining now. Yeah. It's like, hey, we want more money, Zen. And Zen's and gonna Zen's be like, gonna, Yeah, but that's gonna tick off our yeah, customer base. The license are like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, that's your problem, not ours. We want our money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so. That's a you problem, not a we problem. That's a you so <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Um, yes. So I imagine that that's what mm. a lot of that has to do with the licensing hurdles. Um I would not be surprised in the least either if Zen is trying to secure some of those licenses that were lost. Mm. Um, I bet, I would with fair confidence say that they're probably trying to talk to South Park Studios to be able to relicense that table. 
I yeah, exactly. wouldn't be surprised if they were talking to Super League and trying to relicense that. I think the Plants yep. vs. Zombies, that's a no-go. I think that's a non That's EA, get wrecked. Yeah. yeah that's... Um, Ms. Splosion Man, I don't know. Nobody really ever seems to remember that one. <laughs> Nobody clamors I for it. I've never played it. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know if they would be going for that one. I would love it. Check this out. Here's the, How is this for speculation, Jared? Mm-hmm. Back in the PS3 Zen 2 days... There yeah. was the Street Fighter 2 table and the Ninja Gaiden table. Those were exclusive to PlayStation. Xbox had uh. some exclusive titles to theirs. Um, well, who else owns the license or has licensing with Capcom for Street Fighter 2? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Arcade 1-Up? Yeah, and that's right. Gee, if maybe there was a reissue, and God, please update the code if you do. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> if there was a reissue of the Street Fighter II table, that would be packaged really easily into a pinball machine with all the Street Fighter II graphics on the side that retailers mm. would probably be like, yes, we do like Street Fighter II. That cabinet sold well in our stores. Yeah, we'll have this in pinball form. Thank you very much. Yeah. So give us give us a give us a couple of pellets, thanks. I I yeah. honestly would not be surprised in the least if that happened. You know, they say, didn't they, Chris? That you know, when we are smell, you know, does this open up more licensing opportunities? Now you have someone like Arcade One Up in the mix, and the answer was, well, yeah. <laughs> in short, so and you're trying yeah. to break into the. Asian market. That's a title that will do that. What other title yep. does Capcom own that is very friendly with the Nintendo crowd? Mega Man. Hmm. Maybe that kind of thing. You know, I think there's various licensing opportunities that would pop open. There's um, a few. Oh, Thank God. You. If Let's start this one again. Ooh, if they get in bed with Capcom, could we actually see the Capcom pinball tables that were <laughs> developed? Oh, now that would be interesting. <laughs> yes, folks. It's oh. time for discussions about Big Bang Bar again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Highly unlikely. Well, look, you know, new new platform, Chris. New yeah. rating. Except yeah. for it's, that would also require new emulation, and there was only 10 tables ever made. So, Boo. 